Hi, hi everybody. Well, we're back from the vets. We, we've been to the PDSA um, for the fifth time and as promised I, I did say I'd keep you updated and I don't break my promises, never. I don't make many though. This is the situation with Inky as it stands today. Her temperature is exactly the same as it was last week, so there's no improvement there. She has no longer got crackles on her chest um, and her, her her eyes have started to discharge you. I mean she had conjunct she has had um, conjunctivitis type symptoms. however, she's now got eye damage um, in her eye both her eyes are both blue and brown and in on her right eye the the part here that is blue is now red. Um, he said, you know, it could be a burst blood vessel from coughing or something like that. And I, I said to him, is there a chance she could lose the sight in that eye? And he said, yes, there is a risk. Um, so this is what we've done. We've got the Amoxclav um, and we've upped the dose from one twice daily to one and a half twice a day. We've got the Enro Floxacin, which I'm throwing all over the place, which she has half once a day. Plus we have the Metacam Loxicom, same drug. Um, well, it's Meloxicom, same thing. It's, an, it's a non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug, which will just help sort of... It will help somehow. Otherwise, I'm sure they wouldn't have given it to me. She was on it anyway. And we've got a tiny little tube here, and it is a tiny tube little tiny tube how's that supposed to last eight days anyway um she, she's got that just for her right eye only um it's not the results that i wanted she didn't have the x-ray um her weight which was 13.95 kilos is now 14.05 so she's you know we have got some weight gain which which is and was the most important thing to prove that she was uh, not becoming emaciated in any way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we were talking about necro necrotized flesh and the other possible things that it might be, and uh, it is worrying. I'm very worried. Um, I'm absolutely determined if these are the last parts of her life that she will be safe, warm, fed and happy and I will do everything within my power to ensure that, that she enjoys what is could be the last part of her life. We're due to go back next Thursday um, at 9.30am to see the same vet I, I am trying to get some kind of conti continu 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 <laughs> sorry continuity of care and I've made the appointment with the same vet Paul he gave her a very thorough examination and I can't fault it and, and I'm very thankful um, <clears throat> I gave them a donation of £50 um, I'm bust now broken um, you know, if anybody does want to make a donation, I'll, I'll put the details in the uh, description box or the down bar or whatever else you want to call it. Um, I will leave Inky's reference number. Um, the the website address for the PDSA is www.pdsa.co.uk. I will also leave the phone number for the Bournemouth branch where Inky is being treated. Um, you know, there's no pressure from me here. I, I'm not on a beg. It, I'm not like that, and I'm finding this extremely awkward. But if anybody would like to donate towards her care, because we've been five times now, and you've seen the amount of drugs, it it it's costing them a lot of money. Um, and I appreciate very much everything they are doing, and I feel that she is getting good care. <coughs> I think if she still has a temperature 
next week then obviously we're going to have to start investigating it because she might need other drugs or it might be more serious because but then on the other hand who gets over pneumonia in, in two weeks I don't think anybody does nor does any animal that I know of you know feel free to correct me anywhere because I, I don't know it all a long way from it it's alright why well, I'm okay she's just come to check I'm okay because she can feel my stress levels rising because I'm worried and she's put a paw on my lap but she's trained to to say mummy you're stressed please take it easy stop what you're doing which I'm not going to do because I haven't finished yet um, I'd like to say a huge thanks to all of you and your wonderful messages and they, and they are wonderful for you know such support um, I'm a stranger really I, I'm I'm a nobody but my dogs are, are wonderful. All dogs are wonderful, not just mine. They're, they are, each individual little dog is a unique soul. And I believe that the animals in this world are the true innocence. The worst animal in this world is the human being. They're the ones that are cruel for the sake of cruelty and not to do with, you know, survival of the fittest, etc. But that's the case with Inky. I mean, they put dye in her eyes, which goes orange and, well, it goes green actually first and then goes orange and she's got tearing all down here um, on her white fur uh, staining with the dye. And, and it looks really quite frightening, but I, I'm used to that sort of thing. Um, hopefully we'll get some improvement through this this next week I, I really hope so because obviously the longer it goes on the less hope there is there is a possibility she could lose the sight in that eye there is just a small risk of it apparently I might have said that already if I'm repeating myself at all I am sorry I've kind of come in, sat down, and just thought I wanted to get the news out to you. Um, I actually did do a recording before and just burst into tears. So I thought, nope, can't put that up. Try again, Laura, pull yourself together. Because nobody wants to see us weeping, do we now? I have I've put a little bit of mascara on for you today, so you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep myself together and stay strong for her because obviously as, as they're service dogs and as she is a service dog, she will stress and fret if she feels that I'm stressing and or having other problems. Um, this isn't about my problems today. It, it's about hers. And at the moment, I, I really have taken her off duty. I don't think she it's fair for her to work while she's like this. Why why is taking on the slack? bless her heart she's a good girl and so far so good with why why it hasn't triggered off her uh, stress related colitis at all so we're lucky in that respect it, it's very dark here today and very rainy hence the atrocious light not a lot I can do about that I'm afraid and, I, and I'm sorry for that um, so if everybody could please continue to pray and whatever it is you believe in as I said before it, we are grateful um, as I, you know I will put Inky's um, reference number and the phone number for the Bournemouth office in the Dan bar as I said um, if, if you're not happy doing that you can if you wish and only if you want to make a donation you know if, if you want to do it use it you know going through the website or just the head office just use please use Inky's reference number so that she's accredited with the donation otherwise it will just be a general donation and it actually won't really benefit Inky at all um, I don't really think there's very much more to say and because I'm upset I, I kind of ramble and will go into repetitive speaking and I, I, I don't really want to do that because I'd get embarrassed so you know um if there's anybody new here please subscribe to my channel um you know hopefully i can build it and i'd like to do various things here it's not all going to be about just dogs um they've got a story to tell which i think over the period of videos i would like to tell their story um 
obviously there will be elements of my life in there which might make me uncomfortable and maybe some of you but it's how they became service dogs and the incredible work they do for me and it, it's we're all learning we continue to learn as human beings and those that close their minds are only fools to themselves because we learn something new every day um, anyway I, I feel a bit sad and I feel like I'm losing it a little bit so I'm, I'm going to cut it short here um, please take care um, you really are very supportive and thank you so very much and if Inky could speak she would um, she's not up to wagging her tail just now she's asleep and I don't want to wake her so I'll say goodbye to Net. Bye for now. Please take care. Stay well. Hugs. Bye for now.